Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you how to install Focus on MacBook. It applies to MacBook with AMD GPU or the latest M1, M2 or M3. So let's uh, get started. One thing you want to need to install to make or make sure you have it is uh, the Miniconda, which uh, is for Python virtual environment. If you are not sure how to install it, please uh, refer to my previous video. I will have the link in description. Once you have the Miniconda installed, you will uh, open the terminal. So you will go to terminal. Yeah, your terminal will have the base. This indicates the conda environment. So to make sure that you can type conda, press enter. It will show you the available options. This means that you have the conda created. All right, so I will show you step by step how to install Focus. So from here, you will need to create a virtual environment. Conda create dash m. This is the name of the virtual environment. You can call it whatever you want. So for me, I will call it uh, focus env. Um, yeah, I will just, just call it focus. And uh, then you want to specify the Python version. I would do 3.10.12 and you can press dash Y. Yeah, from here we can see that uh, it install all the required uh, packages and uh, also shows you the instruction to activate it. You would need to do the counter activate focus and press enter. Okay, so some pay attention that we see that uh, here, we change the from base to the focus. Looks good. All right, so next step we want to do is uh, to uh, install the PyTorch for MacBook. So what you want to do is to uh, go to the developer apple.com and you copy this command. and go back to your terminal, paste that. So this will install the PyTorch. When it completes, we want to verify it. We go back to the developer page. We copy the script here. Switch to the terminal. Python, press enter, and paste the script. We see that uh, it indeed uh, show us the device is MPS. Well, looks good. Let's uh, ex exit. All right, so let's uh, move on to next step. So next step, we would need to follow the full course official installation guide for MacBook. So we would need to get a clone the repository and uh, press enter. So because I already had it, so I will skip it. After that, you would need to go to change into that directory. All right. Yeah, and you can open that. So from here, you can see the focus uh, scripts, all the files here. So next step, what we wanted to do is to, for here, 
This includes all the dependencies which we want to install. Switch to your terminal. You want to do pip install dash r requirements underscore versions dot txt and this uh, way it will install all the dependency. Press enter. It will uh, download uh, some packages and install all of them. Okay, we see that uh, it successfully installed uh, all of these uh, packages. All right, we are ready to run our focus UI. Let's go to the instruction here. We let's move on to the step seven. So this one is all you need to start it. Also make sure that you also, if you have a M2 MacBook, you want to use this line here. So for me, because I don't have M2, I will just uh, show you this one. All right, so let's uh, Type in that into the terminal and press enter. The first time you run that, it will download uh, some stable diffusion model files into the models directory. So expect it uh, to be long time if you don't have a fast uh, internet connection. So um, because I already downloaded those, so. For my demo, it will be quicker. Let's press enter to start it. So this will be the user interface after the starting. So you can see here, there's a local URL. By default, it will open your favorite uh, default uh, browser. But if not, you can copy this and paste into your browser you can see, see the user interface. All right, so what I would like to do next is to do a quick demo run of it. So for this uh, MacBook, it has um, AMD discrete GPU, It uh, has about uh, eight gigabytes of VRAM and also 32 gigabytes of RAM. So I think it should be powerful enough to run it. So let's see how it uh, performs. All right, so for demo purpose, I would like to click the advanced and uh, we can use uh, image number, go to one and uh, use the speed. And for the prompt, let's do like football. All right, so next I will also show you my activity monitor. I will open the GPU history here. And also my CPU usage here. And also the memory here. Yeah, so the memory may not be very accurate because I have like other programs open. So let's uh, just uh, like show it here. All right, so back to our interface, let's uh, press uh, generate. Yeah, and uh, let's see there's some information printed out on the terminal. And we also can see our um, dashboard graph for GPU, for CPU, and for memory. All right, let's uh, just wait it.
Yeah, with the... It needs about uh, five minutes. This, this one is because I'm like doing some of the recording, so it uh, affects the performance. But uh, let's look at the GPU graph here. We see that uh, for some reason it's not reaching like 90 or 100% utilization. So this is definitely some like a thing. I think a future improvement is needed. We see it's uh, generated uh, the image in about uh, 334 seconds. So this is the image. I think uh, quality wise looks really amazing. Okay, so next uh, what I want to demo is to the use the extreme speed. So I think this one should use the LCM method. Talk about uh, usually takes the uh, eight steps instead of 30 steps. So it will be a uh, really speed up. So let's uh, take a look. Let's go off. All right, let's uh, generate. Also, if you haven't used it previously, you will need to download the LCM model. Okay, we see that indeed this time it only took uh, 8 steps, about uh, 45 seconds. Total time, including the moving model part, total time is 85.76 seconds. And uh, indeed, uh, the golf ball is here. Looks also really nice. Yeah, okay. So for time purpose, I will not uh, demo the quality mode. It will take uh, much longer than the speed. So feel free to experiment with that. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.